Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it Welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel and today I'm doing a toddler party prep with me. I'm going to be prepping for my youngest. Her name is Aurora for her second birthday party. I'm going to be prepping all the food, some buffalo wings. Okay, some buffalo wings in the crock pot, cutting up some fruit. Um, so I'm going to be making some buffalo wings in my crock pot. I'm going to be decorating some cupcakes and giving you some inspiration if you're going to be having a party for your child's birthday. Today I'm also in a very special room. It is her nursery and we are going to be transitioning her from a baby crib into a little girl's toddler crib. So I had to get a new bed rail for that. And I wanted to thank Topcraft for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So as you know, my little one is turning two. She is my youngest and I am super protective over her. She's still really petite and tiny and I was so concerned with her falling out of her bed or potentially hitting her head and having to go to the doctors so to eliminate all the stress I went ahead and made the decision to buy a new toddler bed rail for her. The reason that I chose a Topcraft bed rail is I knew it was a safe option and a brand that I could trust. Totcraft is known for its sturdiness and durability, and I felt safe having it in her crib. Another reason that I loved going with this brand is it came in three different options. It comes in gray, beige, and white. I chose to go with white because, as most of you know, I love to decorate, so I'm constantly changing out colors and adding features, so I knew having like a neutral color would be beneficial for me, and also that her nursery is in the colors of pink and white, and it would just go with everything. Another reason that I wanted to go with Totcraft is that the top other bed rail is universal and fits on any bed. It can fit on flat beds, on slated beds, and even on spring mattresses. But if you co-sleep with your baby, you can attach it to any queen or even king size mattresses. So I knew that once I purchased this, I wouldn't have to worry about it not fitting and potentially having to pack everything up and return it, which I truly just don't have time for. So I knew by buying this, it would fit well, and it did. It was so easy to assemble and it was super fast. I purchased the toddler bed rail in the regular size, because I'm only using it for a crib and I want her to be able to come in and out in the mornings when she's all done because she's getting really independent and I just wanted to have that for her. But they also have their bed rails in an extra long size so if you do co-sleep you can use that which covers a good portion of the mattress and you won't have to worry. I also wanted to show you guys something that is so important to do with any bed rail is to make sure it is secured properly onto the bed. It comes with different straps, velcro straps, even screws just to make sure it's safe for your child and that they won't get hurt when using this product. If you do install it properly, it should not be able to move at all. I'm gonna show you by pushing against it. There's no room for your child to get entrapped or stuck in as long as you install it properly with the straps and tools that it came with, making this perfectly safe for your child. So if you have a little one at home who's ready to transition into a big girl bed, please make sure to keep them safe and get them a bed rail. I have a link below in my description box for this top craft one. Now I'm going to get right into prepping the food. The first thing I have is a buffalo wing crock pot recipe. All you need for this recipe is four tablespoons of butter, a fourth cup of buffalo sauce, a third cup of honey, and I'm going to melt it over this pot and just continue stirring so it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom. Once it's all blended together really well, you're going to want to put it on top of the chicken thighs. I used, um, I used bone in chicken thighs and skin in chicken thighs. And I just seared it on a pan for a couple minutes to get it really browned. I put it in my crock pot, I placed the buffalo sauce over it, and I, and I just put it on high for about, I would say about four, four to five hours. You can also put it on low for six to eight. So now that I made the buffalo wings in the crock pot, I'm just going to be prepping up the carrots and celery to go with it. We're just keeping the party really simple this year. Normally during um, 
birthday parties, we have probably 20 to 30 people here. I usually make all our food and the only thing I buy is the cake. Um, which my she's turning to she loves cars So we did like a kind of like a cars theme mixed with like a princess theme because I have a lot of princess decorations Take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good all right so i'm gonna go put this over near the buffalo wings so that way when they're done i can just put them right on the plate and now i'm just doing some water with some lemon so i filled up my crystal pitcher And now I'm just cutting up a cantaloupe and putting it in this little dish. I really want to get one of those melon ballers um, to make little like melon balls. I think that'd be really cute. So I'm going to probably add that to my list of things to get for next time. I hate you, but baby, you're still mine. And now we have the best times, no matter what we do. And even when we don't, there's nobody I'd rather choose. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it. I think that looks so pretty and like nice and fresh. And I tried to cut it pretty small. So um, my youngest would be okay eating it. All right, and the next thing we're gonna be doing is frosting the cupcakes. I have this really pretty little cupcake decorator or cake decorator. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like less than $10. And I highly recommend getting this because for parties and stuff, if you do a lot, it just makes it really pretty and like just dresses up your cupcakes a little bit and makes them look like nice and professional if you make them at home. So the tip I use for this is just a flower tip. And I just use the larger casing for it. And I'm sure you could get this on Amazon. This actually cracked a little bit, but it still works fine. And I just love having this because like for birthday parties or you know, if you're making cupcakes for your kid's school, you can just use this and it just makes it look really pretty. And now a tip for this is to put it inside a cup. And I'm just using Funfetti um, frosting for this to make life easier. I actually made the cupcakes yesterday to be ahead on that and I made the brownies yesterday as well as the minstrel soup. That way it would just be ready and really easy this morning to decorate. Oh, and someone, I think it was probably my husband, <laughs> already got into that. And for one package of cake mix or cupcake mix, you want to use two cans of frosting because this does use quite a bit of frosting for them. Feel uninvited Left home in West LA I'm not excited So I just refilled it again to finish the cupcakes and a cool tip that I've done once is to put half of one color in it and half a different color in it and it comes out like all twisted and really pretty. I got these sprinkles at Walmart. 
I, they were a couple dollars, but I've had them for about a year now, and it works out really good just making it extra special for them. I wanted to do hearts for her birthday because she loves pink, just like her mama. <laughs> And I have these little pearls, um, pink pearls that I got also from Walmart for my six-year-old's birthday. And I will have two more birthdays decorations to do this year. So I'm not sure what the themes are going to be, but keep your eyes open for them. And these ones are kind of hard, the pearls, so I just add a couple to them. Just for like a nice little touch. And I did buy her cake, so I just wanted to make some cupcakes to go with it. It's Our party's really small this year. It's just us, which is, you know, there's five of us as it is. And then my mom is coming over with her stepson. So I just wanted to, like, make it special for her. And she knows something's up because this morning she came downstairs and I had all her presents wrapped. And she got into one of them, so I had to move the rest. And that's it. It's just a simple and affordable way to decorate cupcakes. I mean, I was going to buy a pack of them at the store, like this size, and I think they were, I think, $20. And I just decided to make them at home. I normally do that anyway, so I didn't mind. And I mean, the cake box I got on sale for like $1.19. The two frostings come to $3. So for, you know, under $5, you can have like a really pretty display. All right, so now I'm just gonna put some cookies on display. I just bought some at the store. They were on sale for $1.50, and my kids actually love these. They're maple leaf cream cookies, and I'm just using my two-tiered server. This is part of the Lennox collection as well, and I'm just gonna place it on it. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed, and now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you wanna be. But you love me Take me to a place I'm calling for Open up the doors I'm knocking on oh, 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 oh. I'm losing control oh, 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 oh. Be the one to leave my fantasy Show you, baby, my hands all over me No, oh, 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 oh. I'll never let go oh, oh, oh. Cause time for the fun part which is the decorating I'm just doing my kitchen because my dining room is all decorated this is just a like sheer tablecloth I got from Hobby Lobby I've used it in almost all my decorating videos and it's just really useful because you can use it for any kind of birthday. I have all girls, so it works out really well, but I use this for my bridal shower. And this is just some glitter tool. tool. This is just some glitter tool that I'm just gonna put on top of it.
And the cake we had made for her, it's supposed to be a Cars the movie cake because she loves Cars right now. Um, but I have some characters that they're gonna, I'm going to put on top of it to make it more like what I wanted for her, which is like Lightning McQueen, what you do for your little ones, right? <laughs> All right, so this is all set up. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put on top of the cake. And I have the buffalo wings uh, cooking and I have that plate set next to it. I'm also gonna be making a shepherd's pie for her birthday. That's not something I normally would make, but she loves shepherd's pie and it's just um, our family here. So I just wanted to make it really homey and like a nice fun day. And I have some plates for her. We have these Minnie Mouse plates. She loves Minnie Mouse. This is quite a bit of food for all of us. We're probably not going to eat it all. I got this little two candle at the dollar store for a dollar. And usually when I go, I'll get some one for each of my girls for the year because you're saving money for it being at the dollar, dollar store. I'm just gonna put that like right there and hope it stays. <laughs> So this is the final cake all set. Like I said, I got this from the bakery. Um, it says, happy birthday, Aurora. I love her name, it's so pretty. <laughs> Uh, she is turning two, and this was a really good party prep. It's really small. I mean, there's quite a bit of food, but it is going to be small this year. So we have Jackson Storm. We have, I think that's Cruz, and Lightning McQueen is her favorite. And they did like a little racetrack around it. And these are supposed to be like the little orange cones and like the checkered flag. I think that looks really pretty. So I'm going to put this up and I'll show you guys the, rest of the final bit of my party prep. And we also have some more decorations around the house. But I'm just going to be showing you my kitchen. We have our cupcakes. The brownies which have been fully eaten. A little cheese board, her mini plates, our chips, our dessert plates, some more cupcakes, the kids' snacks, some cookies, and her cake. Alright, so these are some of her presents. My oldest helped me wrap some of them last night for her. We got her, if you're curious, some Lightning McQueen cars, pretty much all the ones that we could find. Um, a bigger race car. And then we have her big present. Don't mind the wrapping. It, it's one of those ride-on, like, princess, um, kind of like cars for outside. So she's going to be really excited for that.